it's been a, a day where, I mean, the Vikings set the practice squads and it's like the 19th most important thing uh, of the day. Anyway, uh, Vikings have announced 13 of their 16 practice squad players, or at least it's being reported. E either way, here's as of right now, 3.51 p.m. Central Time, uh, who is on the Vikings practice squad. Now, Amir Smith-Marset may join this practice squad, except I think it's 0.0% chance, D'Angelo Russell, uh, that he gets to the practice squad. He's going to get claimed by the Bears, the Lions, the Packers, oh my, whatever. But uh, the 13, running back Brian Kobach, the UDFA uh, running back out of Toledo, uh, wide receiver Tristan Jackson as well as Diamond Danchisena, the special teamer. Tied in Nick Muse, a seventh-round pick uh, out of South Carolina. Come on, raise up. Uh, Kyle Hinton, the interior offensive lineman. Uh, the UDFA center, Josh Sokol. Sacred Heart, getting it done, man. Uh, TJ Smith, Jalen Twyman on the practice squad. Twyman. He just needs some more time, man. Janaris Robinson makes it through waivers onto the practice squad. William Quenku, the UDFA tryout out of Temple, a guy that I like a lot. Uh, I thought that there was outside chance maybe he could make the 53, but there we go. Uh, cornerbacks Perry Nickerson as well as Ty Gowan uh, coming over from the Eagles, a former six-round pick out of Central Florida by the Cardinals, I want to say. Yeah, he joins. As well as safety miles Dorn. Dorn had himself a very nice game uh, against the Broncos. Now, these guys aren't just on the practice squad. Uh, they could be game day elevations uh, with the modified practice squad rules. So 16 players total. Six, uh, basically, you need to know that six of them can have unlimited uh, experience, so you can have veterans on there, everyone else, whatever. Uh, players can be elevated three times to the active game day rooster uh, per season. Uh, but, and if they ele they're elevated again, they have to be added to the 53-man roster or they're going to be subject to waivers. Uh, they, you can protect up to four players per week. Uh, no limit. On number of protections and players can't make lateral moves from the, so they can't just switch practice squads to practice squad. Uh, so, I mean, the Vikings are probably going to add a quarterback to the practice squad. They did have eyes on Sean Mannion, maybe even Kellen Mond on the practice squad before uh, Mannion signed with the uh, with the Seahawks practice squad. Uh, because once you clear waivers, you're a free agent. Uh, th the team that released you doesn't have dibs. So Mannion did that. Uh, well, he was cut anyway because he's a veteran, but. Again, uh, and then also uh, uh, Kellamon was picked up on waivers by the Browns, and they have to put him on the 53-man rooster. And so, what's notable is players that were let go by the Vikings uh, at 53-man cuts and are in the win right now. Now, these guys could still join the Vikings practice squad. Uh, I've done a just through the cursory search uh, just to see if these guys have latched on anywhere. So far, it's only Chas Surratt uh, who has signed on with the Jets practice squad again. Fueling the fire for the dumbest rivalry in sports history. So these guys could still join the Vikings. Uh, perhaps them or the agent are shopping around, seeing where the best opportunity is going to be for them. Don't fault it. But Myra Mitchell, uh, who had himself some moments during uh, training camp. Uh, Zach Davidson, the unicorn, who had himself a nice game against the Niners and then the Broncos. Uh, not, not so much. But it would fit with the motif of Kwesi just poo-pooing and shoo-shooing uh, away all of Spielman's draft picks. Timon Paris, no. Zach McLeod. McLeod's interesting because I thought that he played well enough to maybe flirt with the 53-man roster spot, but uh, fellow UDFA Luigi Villain snagged that spot. Uh, and McLeod, who has shown well in training camp and preseason at times, maybe he's shopping around. Uh, maybe he'll come back to the Vikings. Who knows? Uh, Surratt, like we said, was with the Jets. Blake Lynch. Whenever Blake Lynch is on the field, it seems like good things happen, but uh, he's currently in the win. Ty Smith has already been let go by the Vikings twice, as well as UDFA safety Mike Brown. So as of right now... Not right now. Uh, this is who the Vikings have. I suspect that they'll add maybe an outside name, maybe a guy from uh, that list of players in the win, and probably, well, well certainly a, a quarterback onto the practice squad. It's going to happen. But uh, that's it. Uh, your thoughts on our thoughts. Uh, initial reactions to the Vikings practice squad, or at least 13th, 13 15th, uh, 16th of it. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once worth the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull production value.